Hi guys, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura, and today we're actually revisiting an old pattern, but it's been revamped, redone, and uh, also remember to do the patty this time, so we're going to be crocheting together a cute mini hamburger. Okay, so for this little burger, we're going to need a selection of colours. We're going to need a bun colour, so for the burger bun, and some tomato colour, so a red, and then yellow for some cheese, then a brown of some sort, a little bit darker than the, the bun for the patty, and then some salad, so uh, some greenery, so some green yarn. And with that, we're going to be using a three millimeter crochet hook. So this is a yarn weight of two, but you can use a yarn weight of three. So a DK light worsted weight yarn is fine, or a sport baby weight is fine. But you can use any yarn that you like for this project. It'll just make a bigger or smaller burger. So with that, we're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well. And it's also a good idea to have a bit of stuffing. Um, I need to find some toy stuffing. <laughs> the only bit I have is this tiny bit, so I'm going to need a bit more than that for the uh, just the top of the burger. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to start off um, with the top bun, which is the only bit that's actually stuffed. And we're going to take our yarn. I'm going to leave it off camera. Take our yarn and we're going to do a slip knot to begin. And we're going to start off with a chain full loop. You can also use a magic circle if you prefer. I'm going to do a little chain full loop though to help the beginners. So one, two, three, and four. And we're going to put our hook into our first chain. Grab the yarn, bring it through the first chain, straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And there we have a little chain full loop. And we're gonna work into the center of that loop. The first thing we're gonna do is a little chain one for leverage. Don't count that as a stitch. And putting your hook into the center, be careful not to put it back into that first chain. Put it through the middle, then just wrapping it around the chains, we're gonna do seven single crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology. So in UK terminology, that's a double crochet. So we do single crochet, go back in there again, do another single crochet, two, and we want seven of these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and you may be able to just pull that tail end slightly to bring in that hole this is why a magic circle works better which is what i did on this one but uh, we're going to then put our hook into our first single crochet to join the round and bring the arm through and do a slip stitch to join the round Okay, so by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of seven. Then moving on to round two, we're just going to do a little chain one and then going back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, we're going to do two single crochet. So one and go back in there again and do another one, two. And we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So go into the next stitch and do two single crochet. One and two. And just work two single crochet in each stitch around until you have a stitch count of 14. So we're doubling up our seven to 14. Okay. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. Okay, so just coming up to the end, and it looks like you've got two stitches left. This is actually the fake stitch, it's your, um, what I call the fake stitch, it's actually your previous slip stitch. So don't make sure you don't work extra stitches in there. So going into your last stitch, again, continue with two single crochet, and then skipping that fake stitch and your tiny chain one, slip stitch into your first single crochet to join the round. 
Okay, so by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of 14. And we'll do one more increase round. So again, starting with a chain one, don't count that as a stitch. Go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into and do one single crochet, just the one. Then in the next stitch, we do two single crochet. One and two. Then just repeat that all the way around. So the next stitch, just one single crochet, just one. Then in the next stitch, two single crochet, one and two. So I'm gonna repeat that all the way around, back to the beginning, going one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning. You'll end on two single crochet. And you should have a stitch count of, oh, all in my mouse, what, 21, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21. <laughs> Times table's terrible. A stitch count of 21. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. So one single crochet, then two single crochet. So just coming up to the last two stitches, same sequence, one single crochet, then two single crochet, one and two. Then we're gonna skip our fake stitch, skip your tiny chain one and slip stitch into that first single crochet to join the round. So by the end of that round, you'll have a stitch count of 21. And now we're just gonna do a couple of rounds of uh, just the length. So we're gonna do a chain one to begin and going back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, we do one single crochet and we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 21. I'm gonna do that for two rounds, okay, for two rounds. One single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, it's so just coming up to the end of round two and slip stitch to join. And hopefully you've got something that looks like this. So just make sure that it's facing towards you. And uh, yeah, we've done two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, if you do struggle with this next round, you can just work one single crochet in each stitch around just in the back loops. So rather than going through both loops, like so, you can just work one single crochet in each stitch around for just through the back loops only. But hopefully you'll give this a try. We're just gonna start with a little chain one and we're gonna do one single crochet back post stitch around each previous single crochet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by going into the same stitch we just slip stitched into, but instead of going through the front, we're gonna go in reverse. So we're gonna come from the back like that. Then we're gonna put our hook into the next stitch from the front. So it looks like this. And you sort of catch a little bit of yarn on your hook. Then we're gonna grab the yarn and we're just gonna bring that through like so. And then we're going to do a single crochet. And that's it, that's a single crochet back post stitch. And to start the next one, we go into the second stitch we worked into but this time, rather than going from the front, we come from the back like we did at the beginning. So bring our hook to the front, then go into the next empty stitch and do the same thing again. We grab the yarn, bring that through and do a single crochet. And again, the next one, if you're struggling to find which is the next one, then just have a little look closely and you should see a little bit of yarn wrapped around the stitch. So where that's on the left hand side, that's the second stitch you went through. So that's the one you want to come from the back to. So the next one, we come from the back, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, bring it through and do a single crochet. I'm going to do one single crochet back post stitch around each previous stitch all the way around. So we're keeping a stitch count of 21. And again, look for that little Lift it up, you see that tiny little bit of yarn wrapped around. So the left of that is the one, the stitch we want to come from the back into the next empty stitch from the front, bring the yarn through. 
do a single crochet. So I'm going to do that all the way around. But like I said, if you struggle with this, if you are a beginner, then just work in the back loop instead, as I suggested. It won't look quite as good, but it's a compromise. And you can always come back to this when you're a bit more experienced. Like hopefully you'll give it a try. Okay, so just coming up to the end, it can get a little bit confusing, but we just keep going, making sure we've got a stitch count of 21. And as you get towards the end, you may think you've run out of stitches. You may think going into this last stitch is the last one, but actually you need to just do one more because we need to work around this stitch as well because we haven't wrapped around that one yet. So we come again, we come through the last stitch, but from the back this time. And then we don't really have a stitch or anywhere to go. So we're just gonna go into the fake stitch and then just grab the yarn and do your single crochet. And at this point, just check you have a stitch count of 21. So your stitches will look like they're sitting on the inside, which is exactly what we want. And then we're gonna find, that's our tiny little chain one down there. So we find our first single crochet and we slip stitch into there to join the round. And hopefully you've got something that looks similar to this. Then we're going to move on to the next round. We're going to start decreasing. So we do a chain one, don't count that as a stitch. Going back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, we're going to do one single crochet. Then we're going to single crochet two stitches together. And I like to do the invisible decrease. So to do that, rather than going under both loops, it's going to go under the front loop. Then the next stitch, just the front loop, and grab the yarn and then do a single crochet. So that's an invisible decrease. Then the next stitch, we just do one single crochet as normal. And then we do a decrease again. So under the front loop of the next stitch, front loop of the next stitch, bring the yarn through and do a single crochet. And be careful not to work into these stitches at the front. So that's your previous round. You wanna find these ones that are tucked on the inside. They're your proper stitches. So just do that all the way around, one single crochet, then single crochet, two stitches together. And repeat that all the way around and your stitch count should go back down to 14. Okay, and then hopefully you've got three stitches left. If you haven't, then you know you've not done that last one properly. So continue with the one single crochet and then single crochet the last two together. So you should end on a Decrease, and I can't seem to do this for some reason. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Can't catch that last one. There we go. So once you've done your last decrease, we're just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. Just join the round. Okay. So at this point, you may want to add some stuffing. So we're going to get some, bring up a loop, get some toy stuffing. So not too much. And we're going to stuff the top of our bread bun. Okay, so once you finish stuffing that, as neatly as you can, you don't need too much. We're then just going to single crochet two stitches together to close that hole. So we're going to start off with a little chain one. And going back into the same stitch, just slip stitched into, we're going to single crochet two stitches together. And do that all the way around until the hole is closed. And then we're going to sew the remaining hole closed. How many stitches we got left? Okay. 
Okay, so the last two together. Get a bit fiddly towards the end, so you might want to squeeze your project. Single crochet those two together. And then we're just going to slip stitch in that first decrease. And then let's bring up a loop. We should have a tiny hole left and we're just going to sew, draw string close, so that closed. <laughs> so, and I cut our yarn and leave a little bit of a tail because we're going to, you can use this to turn this into a key ring if you want to. Just bring that loop through, just pull it through, it's fine. Get your yarn needle. And what we're going to do is draw string, sew this close. So to do that, we're going to go into the next stitch, out through the next stitch. A little pull and do that all the way around to the next stitch out through the next stitch pull and you can see it slowly pulls it in you may only have to do it sort of three or four times okay until it closes and then what we're going to do is we're going to hide our tail end the camera wants to focus so i'm going to go for the middle though first and then I'm actually going to thread this through up to the top. Give it a little bit of a pull and that just pulls in the inside as well. Okay, and then you can either cut this or you can use it later on to turn into a hanging loop. So I'll leave that for now as your choice. And we're gonna move on to the next part, which is the bottom of the bun. Okay, so now we're going to work on the bottom of the bun and it's really simple. We're just going to do repeat the first three rounds of the top of the bun. So very, very nice and simple. So you can either just do this first three rounds again or you can watch this. And there's a little slightly extra fourth round as well. So don't skip too far ahead. And we're going to do a little chain full loop. Two, three and four. It's going to move off camera because it's going to keep focusing on that. Put our hook into our first chain, bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on your hook to get a little chain four loop. Again, do a little chain one and putting your hook into the center, not the first chain. Bring the yarn through and do a single crochet or in UK terminology, a double crochet. We want seven of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I will put the written pattern of this on my website. Uh, links in the description below. And I'm just gonna pull that tail end a little bit to bring in that hole. And we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet, but do wait to the end of the video. There's a little bit of a surprise at the end. <laughs> slip stitch into there. That's the end of your first round. You should have seven single crochet. Next round, chain one. We do two single crochet in each stitch around. So starting in the same single crochet, you just slip stitched into. Do two single crochet and then do two single crochet in each stitch around. And you should have a stitch count of 14. So doubling up. It's very interesting actually, because I did an article on my website about how I always started working in rounds with even numbers like six or eight. <laughs> Lately I've been doing lots of seven times tables. So. <laughs> Okay, concentrate. Two single crochet in each stitch around. And coming up to the last stitch, two single crochet. And be careful not to work into your previous slip stitch. Sometimes it looks quite big on the, after the first round, so. Do keep an eye out for that. 
So skip that, skip the chiny chain one and slip stitch into your first single crochet. You should have a stitch count of 14. Okay, next round, chain one. One single crochet in that same stitch as your previous slip stitch. Then we do two single crochet. So this is exactly the same as the first three rounds of the top of the bun. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet. One and two. And to repeat that all the way around, so one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. You should have a stitch count of 21. Okay, it's so coming up to the end. The last stitch, you should end on the two single crochet, one and two. Then slip stitch in your first single crochet. Okay, so that's the same as the first three rounds of the top of your bun, but now we're just going to do one slightly extra thing. What we're going to do is we're going to go straight into, just don't bother going into the same stitch you just slip stitched into. We're going to go straight into the next stitch and we're just going to do a slip stitch. Now we're going to do a slip stitch in each stitch around. And this just adds a little bit of a finishing touch and depth to the bottom of your bun. So one slip stitch in each stitch around just to finish this off. So back at the beginning we're just going to, that's our first slip stitch. I'm just going to slip stitch into the back loop of that first slip stitch like so. Then we're going to cut our yarn and leave a bit, again a little bit of a tail because we're going to need this to sew all the little pieces together. So I'm going to pull that through and I'm going to sew this to the center. So getting a yarn needle, I'm going to go back into that back loop. Okay, and then turning it over, we're going to sew up to the center. Just as neatly as you can. Almost. Okay, like that. We're just going to leave that and come back. I'm going to cut down this smaller tail in though, just so it's not hanging out the edge. Okay, so that's going to be the bottom of our bun. And you can see adding the slip stitches, just giving a little bit of extra depth. So there we go. We have an empty bun. We now we need to stick some stuff inside it. So we're going to follow the steps, the same first three steps again to make the patty. So we're going to move on to the patty next to so get our dark brown colour and again do the first three rounds of the top. So seven single crochet, then 14 stitches, then 21 stitches. So the first three rounds and that's your burger done. That's the, uh, not the burger done, that's the patty done. So I'm going to do that. And I will just show you again on camera where you can skip ahead to the next part if you want. So you do a little chain four loop. Two, three and four. And then it's actually really hard to see this yarn colour so maybe I skip ahead anyway. <laughs> Slip stitch into the first chain and then do a little chain one and go back into the center and we're going to do seven single crochet. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat the first three rounds again to make our little patty. Okay, so I'll probably do that and then come back. I think this yarn's too dark. Hopefully you've memorized the first three rounds by now. Oops. Okay, so I've repeated the first three rounds again, uh, but just in the dark brown. And uh, now we have a patty. If I can find my yarn needle. I'm just going to tie our tail end on the inside. <laughs> Let's do that really awkwardly. So basically, you just want to tie in your tail end 
We're just going to move that tail end so it just down a little bit on the inside so it's not going to be shown in the finished burger. Okay, and we can trim down these tail ends for our burger and the other one's okay. Okay, so that's our patty. It's just the first three rounds at the top again. And then we're going to make the tomato. And the tomato is just the first two rounds. So I'll just show you the two rounds. But So you can see it's just a lot of repeating of the first three rounds or two rounds. And uh, so we're going to make a little tomato. Again, starting off with a chain full loop. Just in the red this time. So chain four, two, three and four. Slip stitch into your first chain. You probably know this already. Then we do a little chain one, then work seven single crochet into the center. And we're just going to do the first two rounds and then that's our tomato done. So our tomato is just the first two rounds. It's two, three. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. So just follow the first two rounds. Okay, so just come up to the end of the round two, which is just the two single crochet in each stitch round. To have, you should have a stitch count of 14 and we'll just slip stitch to join. So it's just the first two rounds and that's our tomato done. Okay, so we'll put our yarn. Let's pull the yarn loop through and do the same as we did with the patty. We're just going to sew our tail end to the inside, uh, to the inside, to the back, turn it over and then just sew slightly towards the center. And then we can cut our tail ends down. Okay, so that's our tomato, just the first two rounds. It's a little bit smaller. And then we're going to do the lettuce, so the salad. And again, it's just the first two rounds again. So this is exactly the same as the tomato. So I've just done the first two rounds again, but there's a slightly extra difference with the salad. So after you've done the first two rounds in green, we're just going to do some picots. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. So I've got a stitch count of 14, the first two rounds, I did the two single crochet in each stitch around. So chain three and I'm going to slip stitch in the same stitch you just slip stitched into. Then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and repeat chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch in the same stitch again. Then slip stitch over into the next stitch and repeat chain three and we're just going to do this all the way around slip stitch in the same stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch chain three so on and so forth okay two three so i should do that and then i should come back So let's go up to the last stitch, slip stitch, chain three, and then slip stitch again in that stitch. And there we go, there is our little salad. And we're going to cut our yarn, pull the yarn through, and do the same thing again as we did for the patty and the tomato. We're going to sew to the back. And then sew slightly towards the center to hide our tail end. Then we can cut our tail ends down. And there is our letter. So let's do a check this time. <laughs> I can't even remember when I did the last 
burger video, but I completely forgot the actual burger part. So, um, so we have the top and we have the bottom and we have the patty, the tomato, the lettuce. We just need the cheese. So we're going to grab some yellow yarn and finally something a little bit different. <laughs> we're just going to chain, hmm, let's chain six. So I'm having to do this from memory because I didn't actually write this pattern down. So I'll move those off screen so I don't focus on the wrong thing. I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to do one single crochet in the second chain from our hook. So we don't count the loop on a hook. There's our first chain, there's our second. Hook into there, do a single crochet. And we do a single crochet in each chain across. And we should have a stitch count of five. That's two, three, four, and five. Then we do chain one, don't count that as a stitch, and turn and do one single crochet in each stitch across keeping a stitch count of five. So one, two, three, four, and the last one's always a little bit on the corner. Five. Do the same thing again, chain one and turn one single crochet in each stitch across. We're doing this for a total of five rows. It ends up being five by five. Two, just until we get a square shape. Three, four, five, chain one and turn. One single crochet in each stitch across. One, Two, three, four, and five, and one more row, chain one, turn, one single crochet, each stitch across, one, two, three, and five. And there is our little slice of cheese. So again, cut a yarn. Just pull the loop through. And then neaten up our tail end. So to do that, what I like to do is just sew through this little stitch here. Give it a nice pull, turn it over, and just sew towards the middle a little bit. that down and also we're going to do the same to this tail end as well. Pulling too tightly. Cut our tail end and there is our little slice of cheese. So now the fun part we get to put it all together. So. What we want to do is make sure the right side, if there is a right side, is face down. So you've got the wrong side, the bottom. And then we're going to put the lettuce on top. We want to feed the, this tail end through each piece that we've made. So just come up through the middle, thread that on. And then what's next? We've got the burger, the, the patty. Always reminds me of Spongebob when I say that. <laughs> then the cheese. I'm just going to go up roughly through the middle for the cheese. And the tomato, I actually like to slightly put to the side. So what I'm going to do is just sew slightly over to one side. After the cheese. And then go through center of the tomato 
That sits slightly to the edge then. And then I'm going to sew slightly back over on the tomato. And come up through the middle of the final top of the bun. And there we go. That is our burger finished. And what you can do to finish is take the two tail ends that hopefully you've got at the top, give it a nice knot on top. And you can either cut these pieces, sew them in, or you can just keep them as a loop and turn this into a little key ring. Um, you could even make this a smaller loop and then add a metal key ring. It's entirely up to you. But I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and hopefully you've ended up with a cute little burger. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you managed to follow along. And uh, there's also a little extra surprise, as I promised, because in my next video, I'm going to be crocheting a tiny little hot dog. And I'm also working on some crochet fries and maybe even a little uh, drink of fizzy pop as well to go with the whole junk food collection. And uh, But if you join me on Patreon, I've just launched a Patreon and I'm gonna be sharing the videos there very soon uh, early for Patreon. So if you are keen to make a cute little hot dog um, or some fries and a drink and some other uh, tutorials and you want to get them early, ad-free, then do head over to my Patreon account where I'm also going to be doing a podcast um, that's going to be released early to Patreons as well. So a podcast talking about all the behind the scenes over the last decade and more and all the things that have happened to me in that time as a YouTuber and crochet designer and there's been a lot of drama and adventures and it's a bit of a tell-all kind of podcast. Um, so that's going to be released early for Patreons as well but if you just want to uh, join my uh, podcast then you could just head to the link in the description below and uh, subscribe onto Anchor for my podcast and we're going to be doing live shows on Patreon as well and like I said some exclusive uh, behind the scenes footage bloopers and lots of other things so I'm really excited uh, to be launching Patreon uh, uh, finally, so and a huge thank you to Genevieve Peters, who was my first Patreon subscriber. You are a huge supporter of my work, so thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon for some more crochet crafting fun. Thanks for watching. Bye. I really want to eat a burger now. <laughs>